everyone, my name is Rebecca Coffey. I'm the Director of Adaptive Services for the YMCA of Greater Fort Wayne. And I am here today just to kind of give you uh, maybe some tips and tricks that might help when you're home with your kids and helping them with e-learning and school and trying to stick to a schedule and a routine. So we have really been working on the why um, on visual schedules and just the importance of that. It can be super helpful for all of us, whether you have a diverse ability or not, to kind of know what your day will be like, to kind of know the schedule. Um, and it's super important too because things are not only written out but they're also shown with pictures so i am not an artist but maybe you or your child will really get into it um, but it can just be super important uh, to write out your routine for the day i wouldn't put more than four or five things up at one time and then alongside with the picture and it's really important just to engage them in that too so going over the schedule at the beginning of the day checking in periodically you know, maybe, okay, so we're done with morning work, so let's go ahead and erase that, and they can help you with it, or they can cross it off on their list that you make on paper or whatever it might be, um, and then kind of continuing on in the day. And then that way, if you need to uh, go back and change the plan, you guys can kind of reconvene, change that on the schedule, and move on. So it's just kind of a nice way because everyone learns in different ways, whether it's visual, whether it's with pictures, whether it's hearing things. So um, this kind of just helps go over everything together. It can also be super helpful to announce transitions before they take place. So if you're planning on switching from morning work to reading or you're planning on, you know, going outside or whatever it might be, it can be helpful to help announce that ahead of time. You know, maybe give them like a five minute warning, a three minute warning, a one minute warning. Um, just kind of give them those heads up so that they know what to expect. Just like with any of us, we don't necessarily like to have a kink in our plan and everyone's being super flexible with everything that's going on. So it can be as helpful as possible to try to give those transitions ahead of time. Um, I also want to just go over some of the sensory things that might be helpful. Um, so a lot of times we'll be have sensory bags that are branches and our sights. Um, so we have noise canceling headphones, but you might have something similar at home. This might be helpful if you have a kiddo who's struggling. Um, if there's just, you know, more kids around or there's just a lot going on at home. Um, it might be helpful to have some sort of, of headphones. Um, we even just added ribbon to our sensory bag, so it doesn't have to be anything super fancy or expensive. It can sometimes just be having a little something to touch that's tactile um, that can actually be really soothing. We have this little fidget here that has a marble inside, so you might have something similar at home or a marble or sandpaper, sometimes just having something um, to touch. Sometimes kiddos might think that certain lights um, are too bright, maybe fluorescence, um, so maybe you have sunglasses or something at home that might help. And just with everything that's going on and the flexibility that um, everyone is you know, having to put forth, um, just remember to take breaks, give yourself some grace. Um, everyone's being just awesome and kind of handling what's going on. So just take breaks throughout the day, build in those times um, for your kiddos and yourself to be able to you know, take that break, unwind, not have to think about school or work, whatever it might be, um, and just enjoy that time together. So just wanted to give you a couple of ideas that might be helpful for you and your family. Take care.